I'm Annette Bakker. I'm the President and Chief Scientific Officer of the Children's Tumor Foundation in New York. It's a medical foundation that is entirely focused on funding research to cure neurofibromatosis. I think what we should do is, one of the things that I'm very strong on is that I think we should be funding discovery and then once the discoveries have been made we should really emphasize and put all the parties together and that is where I think a foundation plays a key role in getting the key players around the table to translate that fundamental discovery into clinical benefit and I think there is where foundations can really play a huge role. Um, it, it's a difficult thing. You can, because the problem is that you can have negative data because of bad science, and you can have negative data because it's not working. The question is, and it's a very sensitive thing, and I mean the American Association for Cancer Research, March 40, is really trying to push publication of negative data in good journals. I think it's key. Um, the way we're approaching it now is we try to gather all the data in a centralized database so that people can already look at the data and then basically the, step, the next step could be that indeed the negative data get published together with the positive data. That would be my dream. Mm -hmm. do, you want, do you want a project or a dream? <laughs> um, what I'm expecting honestly is that we have the first drug approved for neurofibromatosis. Is that going to cure and if no? Is that key? Yes, because once we have the first drug FDA approved for neurofibromatosis, then we can use that as a standard, as a baseline. And basically what we do then, we do two things. First of all, we show the world that we can get the drug approved for neurofibromatosis, which is huge, yet we can develop a path to approval. Second thing is we can start doing better than that drug. So once we have established that baseline of having the first drug approved for NF, then we can really improve and then I hope that better drugs will come very quickly after that. Um, I think the most important thing that I see for the patients is I want to get the patients out of that victim role of doctor please help me. Patients have to become a partner in the research and that is the way that I'm promoting in fact the whole part partnering with patient organizations because our patients are key in getting drugs approved even. I mean, the fact that we have created that NF registry, that you have also, we're working together to translate that in German, that is so important because that does two things. First of all, it shows the world that we are many. If we get many patients in the registry, that shows that we're not to be ignored. The second thing of the registry is that once we have all those patients together in a registry, then at that point in time we can say for very specific conditions we can find the number of patients that are necessary to run a clinical trial and today clinical trials are very often hampered by the fact that we don't have enough patients to run the trial and companies are therefore abandoning an F as, as an indication because they don't find the patients to run the clinical trial. So that is one of the things where I see the patients can become extremely important. The other thing is being properly educated, I think, is going to help our patients to what we just heard, quality of life is much better of children when the parents are properly educated. And I think our foundation plays a key role in that as well, in getting the educational material to the patients.